Hello. I just wanted to get on here live and just read a short story that I wrote. It's called The Squirrel, the Snake, and the Seahorse. A fable by Kundan Chabra. Squirrel came to a river. In a moment of the dust settling into the bottom of the river and the resulting clear transparency, it saw a strange creature, Whoa. a tiny horse that was swimming underwater vertically. How could that be? So the squirrel jumped in and swam into the middle to take a closer look. <laughs> and Seahorse felt a disturbance, got curious too, then climbed up to say hi. Squirrel offered to put Seahorse on its back to visit Squirrel Land. When it reached land, Squirrel Land, Squirrel climbed up a tree. Seahorse was in Oh, wow, how did you do that? Squirrel tried to climb, but it could not. Squirrel laughed at Seahorse. Na 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 na, you can't even climb a tree. This embarrassed Seahorse. Poor Seahorse was sad. Then Squirrel said haughtily, why are you embarrassed and sad? It's your choice to be happy or not. Now, side note, in psychology, this is known as gaslighting. Instead of taking accountability and responsibility for your harmful impact on somebody. Anyways, so a wise elder snake witnessing all this, who could climb trees and swim underwater, said, no, it's not a choice. Squirrel, you must take responsibility on your impact on Seahorse. And Seahorse might want to take their story to its completion. But it's not an on-off switch. Emotions are complex, more like a dimmer switch. deeply connected to each other's stories. Seahorse, be proud that you can swim underwater. Yay! Despite not being able to climb a tree, how marvelous! Squirrel, be proud that you can climb a tree. But don't make fun of those who can't. After all, you can't swim underwater. And most of all, revel in your very existence itself. You are you, with or without your achievements and ability. You deserve peace, love, respect, joy, freedom, and pleasure exactly as you are. Your very existence itself is to be celebrated. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kundan Chabro. I'm a multi-creative storyteller living in Southern California, originally from Myanmar. I'm a Hindu, Buddhist, and Sikh. I'm an indigenous person. And I write stories to create transformation by changing the narrative. 
Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.